I was thinking, right, when I saw this tweet going viral on my side of fucking social media, I'm thinking to myself, am I maybe the problem? Do I maybe not get it? Because I don't understand why this stuff has become so popular within the black content creator community. And what am I talking about? Relationship and sex content. Why do we always talk about this shit? Don't get me wrong. I'm not the target demographic. I don't really listen to these shows for the most part because all of their topics are fucking the same. But whenever I see some of their clips going viral, whenever I see all the engagement that they get in, whenever I see the conversations around it, clearly these clips and these shows are incredibly popular. More popular than my platform is at this current moment. So I, they obviously must be way more fans of this than I am. And maybe it's something that I don't get. But honestly, why are people still talking about this type of stuff? Like this caption from this lady called, what is she called? The Grand of, Grand, what's that? Grand the FT Noise on Twitter. She posted this clip of these two guys on a show. I don't know what it's called. Um, I think it's called Channel 4.0. Uh, maybe that's a channel. It's something to do with relationship, right? And they already, the clip itself on Twitter has 3.5 million views. It has 800 and 885 replies, 7,282 reposts, 11.5 thousand likes, and 3,309 bookmarks. Plenty of people are loving this stuff. So maybe it's just me. Maybe it must just be me who doesn't get what's going on here. But we're going to actually play the clip from this thing and see what exactly they're talking about because i don't get why this same content about well, how much you should spend on the first day should you hold the door open would you sleep with a girl or be in a relationship with a girl if she had a child how much money like all this stuff is like bro can we be can the lord above please deliver us from the scourge of talking about relationships and sex on podcasts day in day out like on my life on my life i have never never sat around with a group of people in real life irl right touching 4k all that shit and spoken about relationships and sex this much never i don't think regular people do maybe i'm may, maybe i'm in the wrong here maybe you tell me maybe you you're at home or with you your friends on the group chat you're talking about fucking men and women dating habits relationship stuff when should you have a baby when's a good time to get married would you take the person's last name maybe you talk about this all the time but i don't know anybody in real life who does this like honestly it really makes my mind, my brain, want to leak out of my earlobes of how bad this is. But anyway, let's hear what they have to say here and let's hear what this interesting 3.5 million view content is sounding like because maybe I'm the one that doesn't get it. Maybe I'm the one that doesn't get it. Taking a girl on a date, what cuisine are we looking at? Um, took a girl to a place called Monkey House, yeah? And mm. I didn't know how expensive it was. And you know how it is when you're going out and you're Them buying places drinks, are expensive, expensive for drink. So, so she's ordered like four cocktails, yeah? And she hasn't even ordered her food yet. It's coming up to like 40 quid. I've only got a bill 50. So I started to like saying, I ain't even hungry, you know? She's like, well, I'm, I'm hungry, I'm gonna order. So I've gone to the toilet and I've texted my boy, he's not answering, so I've called him, I said, brother, please, I need money. I need like a bill 50, I'll run it back to you. So all I'm doing during the day is literally just doing this. Refreshing. Refreshing, just trying to see the balance has changed. So I'm sweating now, yeah? And she's like, oh, do you want more? Should we get more drinks? In my head, I'm like, this is where it's gonna go left because if I if I say no, yeah, you can't say no. I can't say no, so I'm gonna. It's up to you. She's ordered more drinks now. I then thought, yeah, this is peak. I'm gonna have to ask her to borrow me some money or let's go halves or something. I just thought, let me just refresh again, and I saw three hundred pound in there. One fifty uh, was there. Big bro, up bro big, scheme, man. Fabe, Fabe. All right, Fabe, big up Shout yourself, Fabe. man. Fabe knows the story anyway. It gave me confidence in it, but it made me realize I can't do this. This mm. is like living on the edge. Mm. So yeah, that was my my worst experience I've ever had. Now, don't get me wrong. It's a funny story. Um, I do understand why people would like it. I get it. But honestly, has this been the first time you've ever heard of somebody going to a date and maybe being worried and sweating buckets about how much it's going to cost? We all know what the common sense argument is behind it because you really should be checking the prices of places you want to go to before you get there. No wishes in your budget. I really am not the big believer personally. In my humble opinion, I'm not the biggest believer of going out with a tight budget. I don't understand how people that do that. I'd much rather spend that money and have a good time at home or do other things or wait until I've come up because I like to, I'm very, um, what's that thing called? I'm very, um, 
I'm more of a lifestyle type of guy. I might not like material things. I don't care about having a Rolls Royce, a Lamborghini, uh, Audemars watch or whatever, AP, a Rolex, having a gold house. I don't care about that shit, but I care more about lifestyle. I care more about being able to stay in the places I want to stay in, be able to pay for my meal without looking at the bill, be able to travel where I want to travel. That's really important to me. So on a little level that I'm at now, at the little level that I'm at now, where I'm going to get to the top, at a little level that I'm at now, I am not willing to go on holiday and live like a rat for 50, with 50 euros in my pocket. I would have done that maybe when I was 18. Like when I'm 18, I've got like an 18 year old budget. But the older you get, the more you earn, the more things that you kind of, you know, you can't live without. For instance, I'm going to, I'm going to buy a ticket. I'm probably going to take check-in luggage with me because I want to have a different outfit for the whole weekend I'm going. Even if it's four days, I want a different outfit every day. I might even take four pairs of shoes. Don't judge me. It's just the way that I'm, it's just the way that I am. I want to have also to make sure that I have 100 euros at least a bit of spending money per day. Cool. Whatever needs to be done. I want to make sure I have money to drink. Cool. It needs to be done. But I'm not going to go to a tight budget. So you kind of have these things in your head that you kind of work out. Same thing I would imagine when it comes to dating. Why would you go out with somebody who you're willing to invite, right? Which means you're probably going to pay for their half of the meal. Why would you go on like a meal like that on a tight budget? It makes no sense, right? Even if you went to... Even if you went to fucking Wagamama's, I would, I would assume 150 Wagamama's for a meal of two plus drinks is probably about what you're going to pay to go Wagamama's. Probably, I'd imagine. Even maybe even Nando's, depending on how the, how you, how the night goes, you could easily spend a bill there, easily. So whatever, that, that, that needs to be said. But for me, I'm like, why must these topics keep coming up again and again and again and again? Surely, we are tired of talking about these things as people. But maybe we're not. And maybe I'm in the minority. Maybe I'm one person out there of the few who actually cannot see themselves ever spending any of this free time sitting there thinking and pontificating about and arguing in my own head about who is a better sex. Men or women? Um, do women... Um, can women make you laugh? Do men deserve to have feelings? Um, um, would you date someone that had a kid? Um, what do you think of this? Like, oh my God, why do we care so much about these things? Is it because it's the easiest way to make content? And again, maybe it's just exists in each community, but I see a lot more with um, people that look like myself, of course, black content creators and shit. Maybe it exists in all communities, but I just can't get around why I see to see the same content now across all of them. Think of all the big UK content creators out there that have podcasts. Think of all their shows. Now think of their topics. It's all the same. Don't get me wrong. I talk about the same shit on here too, but I'm not fucking, you know, pontificating about love and relationships every single episode. It's boring, man. Like, God almighty. I'm tired of it. Leave us alone. No one cares. Okay, cool. You went on a date. You didn't have enough money. You asked your friend for, for some money. That's actually a good story. The bit about the friend. When you're like, you, you know, you know who your friends are when in a, in a situation like that, that you put yourself into, they still want to step up and help you out. Don't get me wrong. I would never, number one, go out with just enough money to pay for just enough of the date. Not going to happen. I want to have a bit more so I can be like relaxed and, you know, we could take chances and do whatever needs to be done and be spontaneous. That's me personally. Number two, if I was in that position, I'm not asking anybody for anything. That person across from me has to split it with me because we're eating together. But I'm not then going to call somebody up who has, it's none of their business, right? They weren't involved. They didn't, put, you know, twist my arm and t make, make me pet taste person on the date. They're not getting anything out of it either, right? And now all of a sudden I'm asking them to fucking contribute 150 quid to this day. I would never do that to somebody ever. Ever, 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 ever. But hey, maybe I'm in the minority. Maybe I'm in the minority. <laughs>